I know what the critics say. When people, parents, players, coaches watch a lesson like this, they don't understand. They simply don't understand. You have to be patient. I often say that watching a tennis player improve is very, very much like watching paint dry, watching grass grow. Actually, we can make people improve very quickly, but it is a process. You have to be very, very patient. Young player like this, I'm saying things to him. You want to grow like a flower or a weed? And he's going to say a flower. Weeds, weeds grow fast. Flowers, you got to get on your hands and knees. you got to get in the garden and go to work. I'm going to ask him a question like, do you know the story of the three little pigs? He needs to have his house made out of brick. He's almost six years old, so he's a third, away, a third of the way to the age of 18. So in one sense, it's not like he's really all that young. I'm going to ask him, who wins the race? The rabbit or the turtle? The hare or the tortoise? But it's so important in the very beginning. In his head, inch for inch is the heaviest part of the body. He's got a melon on top of those shoulders. So it's very difficult to have him hit and hit well and hit on balance. So in a second here, I'm going to take his hat. I'm going to put it on upside down and challenge him. So there's a couple different dialogues going on right now. One, technical. Two, okay, the life lesson. He knows the story of the three little pigs. He doesn't want the big bad wolf to knock on the door and he's not prepared. And then just relate that to his tennis game. From the movie Hoosiers, and I've said that already in this course, practice is not designed for your pleasure, it's designed for your improvement. But you have to keep talking to a young kid, you're doing this today, so tomorrow you're going to be a star. You're going to be the best you could possibly be. So let's watch one more back end. He's going to turn, change his grip, straighten his arm, the left elbow's up, he shows me his back, he gets underneath with a closed racket face, he hits, he holds. He checks the checkpoints, and that's a pretty good-looking backhand for a kid who's not six.